NASA has added two years to the Cassini mission to Saturn. Where to go? What to see? To prepare for this extended journey, engineers had to chart some tricky maneuvers, trying to fulfill the wish list of 200 scientists. The spacecraft's going. You have a locomotive speeding down the track, but they haven't built the railway yet, and we're up front laying track. It's a lot like if you're in AAA and you go to the trip, uh, you go get a trip tick on the counter. Someone sits there with a map and draws out with a highlighter where you're going and plans out the trip with you. So the, the scientists are on one side of the counter telling us what they want to see, and then we're with the map, mapping on a route and saying, well, how's this, how's that? For the last year and a half, Cassini tour designers have been working at breakneck speed on plans for an extended mission. It's not what you call a low-stress job by any means. They essentially lay down on the table what they want um, in, as far as science goals and science objectives. We come back, we take that off for a couple months, you know, apply astronomics. The people that want to look at the rings want to be up high and look at the rings. The other people want to be down in the same plane with the rings where they can visit all the other moons. And that's a huge tug of war. So what the tour designers have to do is to take all of these different inputs from hundreds of scientists who say, we have to observe this, we want to look at that, and put that together into a very compact new tour of two years. It has seven Enceladus flybys at or below 2,000 kilometers, uh, two at 25 kilometers. This tour has 26 Titan flybys. It has two high northern ground tracks. The tight, last Titan flyby is over here, so this is where it reaches the ring plane, so it kind of moves over a little bit. We show a variety of different tours that are kind of in different flavors. One makes the rings people a little bit more happier than the moons people. Okay, goals for this PSG, obviously for us, we think it's select the final tour. They rated the tours in terms of red, unacceptable, yellow acceptable, and green acceptable. But it sounds like six, H9, and eight should either both be um, both be red or both be yellow. Now all the candidates are out there and they've got to pick one. 6H9, three greens, a lime, and a red. And in the end it was shades of green. We will continue this in the executive session. The science team leaders made the final decision. And the tour was called this, you know, kind of hard to pronounce PF6H9, but that that's the name of this hybrid tour. Cassini's travel itinerary includes 60 additional orbits of Saturn, studies of the rings, the magnetosphere, 26 flybys of Titan, and close encounters with other exotic moons. And it's real gratifying that it was a hybrid tour that took kind of the best of a lot of different tours that we had been designing. The Cassini mission to Saturn has revolutionized our knowledge of the ringed planet, and the best may be yet to come be able to fly through space in a complex place full of moons and rings and dust and so on and uh, be able to navigate this space in such a way as to give Cassini a chance to make all the discoveries that the scientists on the mission would like to see happen. I don't think of it as a wish list, I think of it as a list of potential new discoveries that will be in the textbooks forever and these guys are the ones who will make it happen.